Do you not like the way you sound in your videos? Are you using a second language to create your content and people are having a hard time understanding you? And you have been having a hard time finding an AI solution without limited credits. What you are hearing now is a free AI generated voice created completely for free in ClipChamp. Michelle will now guide you through how to create an AI voice just like mine. So ClipChamp is a free app through Microsoft. And if you don't have it, just go into your browser and push ClipChamp. Enter. You'll see this right here. If you want to look at the pricing, the free you get a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff for. And video editing, composition, stock media. Right now, I'm doing screen share to record this in ClipChamp. So you can do that. There's a lot of things you can do in there and it's all for free. The paid plan, you just get a little bit more perks, but your downloads are in 1080p. It's very, very nice to have. And all you need to do is hit your sign up button or sign in if you already have it. So after you sign up, you will get this list right here that kind of asks you what you're kind of using it for. I think that's for their demographic to see what kind of more features they can like skew to in the future. So we're just going to put a content creator here and what kind of creator am I? Uh, maybe influencer. I don't know. So now you're in the home page of ClipChamp. What you want to do is create a new video from scratch. So if you want to just use this to create AI voices, maybe to take over to Canva or somewhere else, all you need to do is go into record and create. There is a text to speech at the very bottom of this row here. So we're going to click on it. You have language, you have all different types of language. I'm going to stick it, stay in English. Uh, you have a lot of voices to choose from. Now, I like Ava, which you heard in the beginning, um, but you have a lot to choose from. Some of them, if you notice here, it says advanced settings. Well, Ava doesn't have those, but if you go down to another person, let's say I think Jane has advanced settings, you can also change these. So you can change the pitch of the voice, the emotion, and all these kinds of things within Jane. You have pitch, which you have low, high, medium, extra high, and you have those things and the pace of how fast or slow they talk. So you can hear what they sound like. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. And then you can go, let's say, let's make her cheerful and then hear that voice again. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. We can also go through here and let's change the pitch. Let's uh, make her extra low, see if she sounds manly. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. So you can say anything and maybe if you go like extra high, maybe it sounds more like a kid. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. That might be good for if you're doing something like a kid's video for a cartoon or something like that and you want to have a high pitch voice for for a child or a child ish type character so once you set where you're going to go i'm going to go back to ava because i like ava there she is she doesn't have the emotions um, i want to put her back on default because i like that so next what you do once you got all that set down you want to go into your text bike box and text type whatever you want to type anything you want to type um hello my name is Michelle. Now I did learn that if you want spaces, so like say you're doing, like you're going to take over to Canva and you're going to do something with like photos and you're going to go over there and you want photos um, with voices in each slide or something like that. Uh, do ellipses behind each one. And I also did a space in between. I feel like that breaks it up enough. So like if you need to go in there and cut it into pieces, in Canva or even over here, it makes a big difference. So we're going to, we're going to put, my name is Michelle. Today is a great 
day, exclamation point, ellipsis, and let's say my dog has fleas. She doesn't have fleas, but I just want to put something cute in there, and I'm going to put the ellipsis behind it, and I'm going to preview that. Hello, my name is Michelle. Today is a great day. My dog has fleas. So now I have all those in there. I can push save. The crunch to this is the maximum duration is only 10 minutes a piece, but you can make multiple 10 minutes. So with that being said, we're going to save this. Now it's down here. So now we're going to play it. Hello, my name is Michelle. Today is a great day. My dog has fleas. So now that we have that done and we have it where it wants to, you can add your video. You could add your video previously, or if you want to take it to somewhere like Canva or anything, it's going to be in video format. And Canva, if you take it over to Canva, you can go in there and you can extract the audio from the video when you download it. The other thing is, is if you're going to go, say, the opposite way, say you put a bunch of pictures and some videos up and made a small video in Canva and then brought it over here, and now I made my AI voice and I want to have captions. You can go here and it'll transcribe it, transcribe the media. And then we'll go, we'll take it back a little bit. And you can see here. It's a great day. My dog has fleas. So, and then what you want to do there, if you like that, what you want to do, let's go. We're going to move it here where I can grab my text. I can go here. I can grab my text. And here I can start changing my fonts. Let's go to Oswald. I can change my alignment. I can bold it. I can italics it. I can change the color. So I can go to red, yellow, blue, um, if you do this, the outside, well, I can't see it on this because the outside border is black. Um, if this, my background color was a different color, it would just be like a black outline. You can't see it in this. But that's another thing you can do, and that's all for free. Now, it doesn't do the cool things like CapCut does where it highlights the stuff. It doesn't have any text effects, but it's another way you can come in and get close uh, close captioning and, and caption your videos. And then you can also move positions. So if it's like something here or you want to do something where you're kind of a talking head and you want to kind it underneath your, your jowl or any of those things, that's what you do. So now that I have it done, all I'm going to do, I'm going to take, hit this button and it takes my close caption and back off. So now I want to take it over to Canva. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to export. I'm going to name it test. What I'm going to do is go to export. I still do 1080p because I don't know if that really affects the quality of the vocals or not. But I'll do the 1080p. I'll download it. And once it's downloaded, I can move it to whatever I want to. Now, if you just, it's going to be a video though. So like I said, if you take it over to Canva, what you can do Hold on, I'll, I'll help you out here. Let's go into Canva real quick. I'll go into Canva. And I'm going to just pull up a video real quick. I am going to go into my uploads. Upload. Now I'm going to open this up. Hello, my name is Michelle. Okay. Today is a great day. I'm going to pause it. Hello, my name is... I'm going to try to pause it. I'm going to pause it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that video, click the three dots, go extract the audio. Now I have the audio. So what I can do now is go in here if I want to put some, so I can see my breaks that are in here. So I can go where my breaks are if I want to. Click on them. I can split, split here, split here. So I've split my audio up. And now what I want to do is make sure each one of my audio, ugh, my audios are split. Hello, my name is Michelle. Today is a great day. My dog has fleas. So I'm going to add three pages. So now uh, that this is split into three pieces, 
what I can do is split one, go and move one for this page, one for this page, and then I can delete that because I already taken the audio off of it. And then elements, we're just going to grab three random, let's do three random photos. We'll go here, go here, go here, and that way you can go. My name is Michelle. And then we'll time it out, fix those, move that over, fix that one. Hey, wait a minute. Undo. Pull this one over. Oh, no, I don't want to shorten it up. I want to pull it over. And I place them where I want to. Shorten that up. Move this over here. Shorten it up and then... Go ahead and... Hello, my name is Michelle. Today is a great day. My dog has... Oh, I lost the end of that one. So let's span that back out to where it is supposed to be and listen to that. My dog has fleas. So I'm still playing with the like cutting and stuff like that. So if I get a little bit better and you want a little more information out of it, please leave it in the comments and um, I'll explore this a little bit more. I just found this out and like I said, I use ClipChamp for the screen recorder. Canvas for screen recorder has been a little bit funny lately. So I have been mainly using uh, ClipChamp for my screen recordings and then taking it back over to Canva and editing it down. So with that said, um, and that is the end of this tutorial. I thank you guys for stopping by. I heard, hope you learned a little something and some cool tricks and some freebies. So. Hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.